The real focus of the gospel is simply what it says. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. So the focus, the idea, the capturing moment of the gospel is saying, where is your heart? And it's a challenge to say, are you doing things rote or are you doing things with a mindfulness and awareness of what you are about? Reminded me of an old story you probably heard. It was a couple who had been celebrating a wedding of one of their relatives, so they're driving home. They've been married themselves about 25, 30 years. So as they were driving, the wife was reflecting on their wedding and seemingly how they are no longer as close as they once were. So as their car pulls up to a traffic light on their way home, she looks at her husband and she says, Rick, look at us, look at us. This is the whole trouble with us. Well, perhaps it's the lateness of the night or it's that he just didn't want to engage in an argument. He just pulled away from the light without saying anything. She said, no, Rick, really, this is the problem between us. Look at." So the next light, they stopped. He looked at her. He said, okay, Marianne, what is the problem between us? And she said, this, this whole thing. And she's pointing at the seat between them. When you and I were dating, we couldn't get any closer. When we were first married, we were right next to each other. She says, now look at us. Look how far apart we are. Well, Rick, he's a little bit uh, upset with Marianne, but he says, honey, he said, when we were first dating and courting. I was driving, and when our first years of marriage, I did all of the driving. So I have to ask you, who do you think moved, me or you? <laughs> now that's a silly story, but the idea is that you get in a habit of something, and you can begin to see that the habit is not doing anything for us, where once it did something, I'm doing this. I'm still doing it. Yeah, but where's the heart in it? Where's the heart? You miss it. And I think that's what the Lord is telling us to do. Examine, look at the reason you're doing things. Sometimes the reasons, the urges, the triggers we have that cause an action or activity are fine and good. But sometimes they are not. They do not lead us to greater goodness, but in fact lead us away from the Lord. And so this is a good chance, this gospel, to say, look at really what are the things, the habits that are good and need to be nurtured, and what are some of the habits that maybe need to be examined, maybe in some way need to be changed or done better. The attitude, the heart, is no longer in them. I want to think about one that you might be surprised about. Now, all of us usually are very comfortable when we go to a church, a parish, to sign up for a certain liturgy, to be in a certain place. So most of you, I would bet, I would think, are always at 5 o'clock on Saturday. If I put you in the midst of 11 o'clock on Sunday, you wouldn't know half those people. You just don't. You're used to this. Or if I asked you, said, instead of sitting there, sit over there, or instead of there, move over to here, I said, whoa, that's a big change. And it is, I understand it. We get comfortable where we are. So there's a habit about coming to church that's fine. It doesn't make any difference what time or where you sit. If that works for you, that's great. Showing up is good, but that's not the only thing you see. The habit can be, I went to church, I showed up. You've been doing liturgy lessons. The liturgy lessons have been reminding us it's not about just showing up, it's opening up opening my life to hear this word of God, opening my life to recognize God is challenging me, calling me to something more, but I won't hear it. I'll miss it if all I do is show up. One of the great philosophers said that when you look at the Bible, it should be as if you're looking in a mirror. You should see yourself. So it is not just the Pharisees who are challenged on where their heart is. It's you and I. Showing up is good habit. That's a good habit. But there should be a habit of the heart that says opening up is the next stage. Opening up to what God may be calling you to do, telling you what to do, or maybe in simple ways affirming goodness in you. 
or maybe helping you find strength amidst all the other people, or gaining strength from this bread of life. I will show up out of habit, but maybe I need to open up my heart for what God is calling me to do. But then there's another habit that I thought about that needs maybe to look at, to think about, and that's the, what I would call the, the habit of, well, forgetfulness. It's not intentional always, but sometimes with the ones I live with, the ones I rub elbows with the most, I appreciate them. I am grateful for them. But I often forget to tell them that. When was the last time sometimes the one person I find most helpful in my life, the one I love the most, I don't say how appreciative I am of the little acts, the little signs, the little words of encouragement or kindness that flow from them so freely and so frequently. I just am grateful in my heart. I say a prayer in my mind, but I don't say anything to them. Or how about maybe it is some of my children or it's someone in my family, a brother or sister, a cousin, a nephew or niece who needs a word of encouragement. They're going through some difficult times. It can be growing pains of maturity. It can be struggles with some brokenness in their life. It can be some who are trying to put sense back in after a, an addiction or a compulsion. I see them struggling and I pray for them, but I don't say anything to them. I have the habit of, well, forgetfulness. I just, you know, I got to do that, but I don't ever really do it. Sometimes I, I haven't told my friends what they mean to me, how they have been so supportive of me. When someone I love died, they were right there. Or when I was struggling in my own difficulties, they were with me. Or when I had a health issue, they visited me. And yet I have not really appreciated them by saying it to them. Oh, I may have even sent a card if I did that much, but I never really said it to their face. I was a little bit of a coward to remind them how much I need them and how grateful. That habit of forgetfulness needs to be changed a little bit. I have to change that habit of forgetfulness to instead to be a habit of what I would call mindfulness, being mindful of what is going on, of those who support me, help me. I need to change my heart a little from forgetfulness to mindfulness. And maybe it is that I've also recognized in me another trait. There is sometimes in me a habit that doesn't allow me to fully accept and understand all that is going on in my life. I may say that I do, but in many ways I really don't. It's that habit of what I would call, well, resistance or comfort. I'm not always aware how I do that. I've had a long day at work and, and I've got a lot of things on my mind. I hit the door, there's family and friends or there's just others who I see on the way into my apartment or into the condo, but I kind of ignore them. I can't wait to get inside. I throw down everything and there I am right away checking my phone for the last text message that I got to either send or respond to. And in truthfulness, most of those text messages we get are not very important at all and to be truthful are mostly frivolous at best. I don't need to do that, but that's what I do. Almost before I greet those that are there or in the hallway or in the place that I live, before I do that, I'm on my phone. Or sometimes it is I, I go on the computer right after dinner. I'm right there and for a little while I think, but it's often an hour. I'm answering emails, doing other things, or shopping, or doing all kinds of things. I never interact with those around me. I do all of these things because I have that line of least resistance. And before I know it in a week, with all the other distractions, I have not really paid much attention to the people in my life, to those who are nearest to me in my life. I've used a line of least resistance. I've spent hours on other things that really don't matter. I've not seen the one I said I promised I would visit, I've not called that person that says, well, yeah, we ought to get together. Or I've not gone to the neighbor to offer help and I saw them in a project I could have done something with. The line of least resistant is what I've been doing, that habit of resistance. I just don't do it. I don't go anywhere. I need to change that habit in my life. 
I need to move it away from the line of least resistance to a line of greater interest. You see, that's what the Lord, to me, is telling me in these gospel message. He's saying, look at your heart. They were doing things out of rote, washing their hands, changing the cups, making sure of the dietary laws. And he said, yes, but your hearts are far from me. Maybe the habits we have are mostly good, but the heart needs to be changed. I need to look at ways I can change the heart. Even the heart of religion, to say showing up is good, but being open is even better. Maybe it is the forgetfulness that says I need to be more mindful. Or maybe it is my resistance needs to be more interest. Whatever it is, look inside. Where is the Lord, as I said in the beginning, calling you to see the mirror in the scripture where the Lord is saying, this is you I'm talking about, not just the Pharisees.